Your head's cut off. I dare you cut my head okay, off. Okay, there you go. Now we're on. Say hello to everybody. Hello. And we are going to be repotting. But we're not repotting orchids. We're actually going to be repotting three. Wait a minute. Where's the other one we're doing? Zoe. Izzy ate it. I need my other plant that we're repotting. And that little baby there. So we're going to repot these three plants. Um, let's talk about these plants real quick here. This plant my mom gave me a division of it about two years ago. Looks like someone put frost down. And this. look at the growth I have gotten. And this plant has been growing in only Lekka beads. So, yeah. I'm really excited to see what the roots look like. And I'm, I don't know if we're going to be able to get this plant out of Isn't there. Isn't this a zebra um, aloe? Kind of. It's not an aloe. It's, um, it starts with an H. I'll put the word below because I'm really bad with names. So, anyways, we're repotting that. It's been living in there for two years. This little guy right here um, actually was a one leaf. I, I borrowed a leaf from Walmart. Borrowed? She stole it. I didn't, it was one leaf! <laughs> so I took a leaf and I did the propagating. And so this um, free plant, free plant free took plant. about a year. I think for it to get this big, I had to repot it. I'm going to repot it again because I think... Uh, oh, wow, it just popped right out. So yep. we're going to be repotting that one. It looks like it's ready to repot. It's yeah. getting a little cramped in there. Just watered it. And then this one. Um, I call this the palm tree. Well, let's show them what's going on here, why we're repotting it. So Can these guys... There's some dead leaves back there? There's dead leaves, but it's growing up and out. And um, these type of... Oh, God, what are they called? Himalayan oh, I'm flowers. I'm so bad with names. I'm not just bad with plant <laughs> names. I'm bad with people names. Like, names. Like, if I if you tell us your name is Cassandra. I'm going to forget. Late, an hour later. What's your name again? Yeah, <laughs> I, I can't remember names. So we are going to be repotting this, but we're going to do something different with this one. Dun, dun, dun. No spoilers. Yeah, we're going to do something different with that one. So let's do the easiest one first, which will be this one. That's going to be the easiest one. Because it just popped out. Oh, Alright, you're not in the picture anymore. It's How just dare this. How you? Sorry. You still hear my voice, right? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, yeah you can still hear your voice. Look at that. So I had like a beads at the bottom. And uh, this one is growing oddly. Um, it's just kind of like drooping down instead of like this one is growing out. This one's That's why I call it a palm tree. Yeah, this one's weird. This one's just drooping down. Just kind of looking sad. But I did repot this recently so I'm just kind of thinking that maybe it just needs a bigger pot. What the heck is going on with it? Okay, the other thing about this plant was when I repotted it it was kind of a baby and it grew really well. But can you... Indy's eating food off the table right now. I can hear him. Easy, no! You're gonna die! I don't, I think it needs more space. I think, I don't know, because I really haven't been growing succulents for all that long, but um, I think it just needs a bit more space maybe to grow, because this root ball was really in here. I mean, it took up the whole space. And, oh, I don't think I've told you how... So... When this um, cutting grew, it started growing kind of like this one, tall, and I chopped it, and I plopped it, and so these are all new roots that are this root ball. So, that's something that happened. I'm going to put my gloves on. Shake it, tap it in there. Alright, that's, that's it. That's all I'm going to do with this plant. I just really want this thing to have normal growth, but maybe it's due to light, except this one and this one are growing in the same window. I don't know. We're just going to set this back in the window. Boom. Repot. Done. Do this one. I am I really don't know what the heck is going to happen here. This plant has been growing in here. Oh, look at that. Look at this strange leaf, Zoe. What is this strange leaf here? What is um, that? 
Looks like that little devil feather. <laughs> it's Sprinkles feather. I just put it in there. Looks like that little chicken feather. Okay. So, um, I have no idea how this is going to go down. This is a clay in a clay pot. It's been living in here for two years. Oh, oh my god. Oh, it came out really well. Oh wow, okay. that's a lot of roots. It's like it's making its own bowl. Oh yeah, look at that. So there you go. There is a succulent, my friends, that has been growing in Lekka for the past two years. I was going to say two years. I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Look at the growth that we have on this beast. It started when I got it from my mom actually gave it to me. Oh look, there's a root there. When my mom gave this to me, I don't know. Um, she gave me two babies. And now those babies have had babies. And we've got quite the freaking mess on our hands. I don't know how I'm going to go about this. This is... Why don't we save that for the last one? No, it's already rolling. Okay. So I'm just going to massage. That's fine. Oh, no, wait. No? That's weird. I don't know what that is. Did I put dirt? Did I put rocks in there? It's been a long time, so maybe I did put some... I think I did put some rocks in there. Okay, so it wasn't only like a... I think I put some plant... Um, actually, I think I put some clay from my... Oh, they're breaking apart. Yes! Success! Oh, that wasn't hard at all! The three amigos! I thought that was going to be a challenge, but it actually... They... Wow. It's a challenge. They're just a bit intertwined. There you go. Two years of growing in Lekka in a clay pot, being watered occasionally. Sometimes I would just let the water sit at the bottom. Um, so, like, I would just let this, uh, as you can see, all the algae here, I would just let this sit in water. But it was all Lekka beads like that. So. Look at that. Look at that. Stop. When I bought this... When I bought this plant, it actually had a flower, and it was a beautiful flower, and that's why I bought it. But the plant itself didn't even look like an echo vera. I think that's what it's called. Um, Just be patient. We'll get to the interesting part later. Uh, so when I first bought it, it was pretty weird looking. It like didn't have this beautiful growth that we know and love of the succulents. It was kind of like funky. It had like half growth, but it had a flower. Uh, it's been growing beautifully for me, but we have no flowers. Uh, so it's been growing in here for probably about a year. It's had some really good growth, but uh, let's pop it out. That root growth. That's kind of cool. That's ugly. No, it's not ugly. It's a beautiful thing. Roots are a beautiful thing. <gasps> but it's been growing in just the Lyca beads. And that's the growth we've been getting in just the Lyca beads. So that's flaky. So flaky. That's a weird thing. Oh, I'm back. Got my trusty clippers here. Um, I so what I did. With this plant, was it was starting to grow just really tall, like these, and it starts to look like a palm tree. That's what these guys do when they've been growing for a while, and maybe due to conditions or what have you, but they grow kind of like a palm tree. See? You got this long thing here. That's what I call it. They, I, I mean, these guys are probably growing like this because they're reaching for light, and that could also be another reason why this guy is growing like this, because she's it's reaching for light, but it's not looking like a palm tree. Um, so maybe the light is they are around. living. Now watch what we're gonna do. <gasps> I know, tragic. So <laughs> just cut its other head off. I'm going to take this guy. They decapitated. They decapitated. Kind of like what people do with um, when you're. African violet starts growing like that. African violets have a tendency to, to do that too. Where did my African violet go? You killed it? It died. <gasps> I don't know. Oh, baby. 
I don't know. I got, yeah, I don't want to talk about that. You owe me another graphic. I do. I do owe you one. Okay, so I'm just going to take this, clear it off the roots, and I'm just going to shove it in there. Just like this. Wait, can you see me? No, you can't quite see me. There. There it is. I'm just going to go plop. And there it is. Done. That's an easy repot. Um, hopefully this one won't grow as funky as this one, but we'll see. Maybe that's the trend when you decapitate them. Uh, I don't know. But this one... I love that palm tree. I'm going to keep this one as a palm tree, doing kind of an experiment. Mm, so I'm going to nice. take the palm tree guy and I'm going to put it back in. Wait, that's his new name? We'll call it palm tree, yeah. I'm going to put it back Can in. There. Put it in there. This looks like a green chubby flower. And then we just put I'm gonna put the stuff back around here. I don't know. This is definitely not the most um best way to do it maybe. Or other people might be like, oh my god, what is she doing? You decapitated your beautiful thing. Actually. Let's have it sit a little deeper in the pot. Maybe that will make it look better. But, as you can see, it's been growing pretty darn happily. And now you just decapitated its friends. Good job. That's just the life of a gardener. I'm more of an indoor gardener, though. I'm too scared to grow plants outside. Like, I really want to get into cyclopediums. Because we used to have bleeding hearts outside, and dogs just trampled them. That is definitely one of the reasons why I don't have a garden, in the backyard at least. Could do a garden in the front yard, but then we have so many stinking squirrels. And Did you see them? We don't have deer. We don't have a deer problem. We have bears and squirrels and coyotes and rabbits. Ooh, we have lots of rabbits. So, okay. There we go. Looks a little bit better. All right, there it is. It's gonna go back into one of its little half pots here. Where it can sit in some water. And then we're just gonna hold it in place, tap it, and we are done. And I can try to grow another plant from this little leaf. Hurt it. I don't know. We'll see how it does. So, if you want to grow a plant from a leaf, you take the leaf, you let it kind of um, grow a little callus over this hurt part here, and then it will just send out roots looking for dirt. So, all it will do that. But these are all good ones. You want them to have that little. No, but you want it to be taken off right at the base of the plant. Like this? This one is... Oh, yeah, that's good. That's good in a little nub right there. You got that good little curve to it. That is a good one. This is not a good one. That one just got ripped. That's not... That's not good. You can't... I mean, maybe you could, but... You want them to have that little... Nubbin. This was the first um, succulent I actually have got had in a really long time. Like, this is my first. And uh, it was definitely the first plant I ever put into clay and clay. This is the first plant that went into um, a somewhat semi hydroponic setup. So. It's really kind of fun and cool for me to have finally pulled it out and saw, I got to see the roots and 
how well it has actually been doing. So there you go. Super easy. I don't think I don't think you could even attempt to kill this plant growing it this way. I think if you find yourself having a hard time growing succulents, maybe because you don't know how to water them properly, like you water too much, um, growing them in this media allows for really s hardly any error. Like, I can let this one sit in water because it's such an aerated mix. It's such a there's so much air going to the roots and seeing that it is actually in clay. There's a lot of drying out that happens pretty quickly with it. So, uh, you know, I've always thought that this method was a really good thing for most succulents. Not all. And it works for these guys really well. Um, I have a few other plants with this setup. Um, I did move, I did change my cactus actually, cause I really hardly ever water my cactus. So I found that because I like never water them, I needed a bit more moisture. So I started doing, um, half Lekka beads with half, um, cactus soil, the soil that you saw me use for these guys over here, which is this, dun, dun, dun. you know, just, that good old fashioned stuff works really well. So there we are. Thank you for watching. We are all potted up. Um, all set. This guy, we'll see how that guy just continues to grow. And we'll see how they all continue to grow in this setup. Remember this one was decapitated and this one still has all of its roots and then some. So we'll see the difference. And this one being a little leaflet baby that I grew. And those guys are divided. So yeah, alright. Thanks for watching. That was a really long video.